Okay, everyone. Uh, I just uh, gonna skip the equilibrium uh, for chapter seven, section um, seven before, uh, because we don't need to cover that for um, session uh, seven before. Um, now uh, I'm gonna move to chapter eight, and um, um, we're gonna talk about matrices and system of linear equation. Um, so in this chapter, we're gonna cover the augmented matrix of a linear system, uh, row operations and Gaussian's elimination, um, matrix operation, and finding the inverse of a matrix and solving linear system using inverse matrix. Okay, so let's go. Oh, actually, you know what? We will we will skip the fighting inverse of a matrix and solving in the system using inverse matrix. Okay, so let's move to section 8.1, the augmented matrix of a linear system. Okay, so a matrix is a rectangularly, uh, sorry, a matrix is a rect rectangular array of numbers arranged in two rows and columns. Okay, so let's do an example. Example one, consider the following two, two by two, okay? System of equations, write this system as an augmented matrix. So, um, in order to, to, to write this into the augmented matrix, you're just gonna put down all the coefficient of x equation. So the first one I have three, four, seven, right? Three, four, seven. And the second one I have four, negative two, five. So I put four, negative two, and five. So, um, uh, so that is a reason where, uh, that is the, uh, the um, augmented matrix, okay, uh, for this system. Let me clean up this so you can see it clearly. All right, so now I'm gonna move down and, and move to the next example. So we're gonna write the augmented matrix for the three by three system of equation. Um, by the way, I wanna say, the three by three um, here is talking about uh, uh, three rows. I uh, mean, three rows and three variable. Okay. So, um, uh, yeah. So, so because of we have three rows and three variables. So in here that, the reason why we call, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> um, three um, by three system of question. Okay, so we have, uh, let's have like a bracket here. So I have first, uh, uh, first equation have three, negative one, so negative one, negative one again and then i have like a like a line to separate the last column so uh the last uh, the, the 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 right hand side of the of the first equation is zero so i'll put zero and then close the bracket okay the second one have okay now look at the second one uh, we do we have the term x? Yes, we do. Uh, I, I actually need to make it look like this better. Three x minus one y and minus z. I mean one z. Sorry, one z to zero. And then I want to make this x in the same column of the first equation. So x plus y equal to five. Oh, I forgot one z, right? 
Okay. And then the set, a third one have two X. Uh, we don't have Y at all, right? So uh, I could put like plus zero Y. And oh, and the second one could be plus zero Z, right? And the last one have negative three Z equal to two, right? So now I'm gonna just put down all the coefficient. So the second one have one, one, zero, five, two, zero, negative three, and two. So that should be uh, the answer for augmented matrix um, for this three by three system. Let's move that. Okay, so this is like the backward. We want to find the system of equation from the augmented matrix. So easily you can just, you know, have the first one is one, right? X minus three Y and minus five Z equal to negative two, right? Second one have two X minus five y minus four z equal to five. And then three, negative three x plus five y plus four z equal to six. So, so you actually can make number one be hidden because you know, actually, one x just x, okay, um, and that should be the system of equation you need to know. Okay, let's move now. So we done eight point one, and I'm gonna talk about eight point two later. So let's 